Grab audio soundbite number 15. This is this is a former head honcho at MI6. This is the UK version of the CIA. MI5 is the UK version of the FBI. This guy's name is John Sawyers. He was being interviewed by Chris Gentleman Poor about Trump's tenure as president. And I remember this guy is a Brit establishment. He may as well be the biggest labor Democrat in the country. But he is a, he ran MI6 for a while. And Chris Gentleman Poor says, you think Donald Trump is the biggest threat to the world? President Trump is bringing a new approach to America's role in the world. He has said himself, he wants to put America first. Mm -hmm. Most American presidents for the last 70 odd years have seen America's role as the stabilizer of the international system, Mm -hmm. as the guarantor of peace and stability and as far as possible open markets. And that's what we used to call American exceptionalism. That America was exceptional because it wasn't simply pursuing its national interest. We now have an America which is primarily in fact, overwhelmingly, pursuing its national interest. And so it's the end of American exceptionalism. Now, other countries have to adapt to that. We now have an America which is primarily, in fact, overwhelmingly pursuing its national interest. We can't have that. We can't have that. That's the end of American exceptionalism. Do you believe this crap? This, folks, this is exactly what McCain was talking about when he said he couldn't understand why would be we would abandon the world leadership and order that we created 75 years ago. This. He said himself he wants to put America first. We can't have that. That's not American exceptionalism. We can't have that. Most American presidents last 70 odd years have seen America's role as a stabilizer, international guarantor of peace and stability, and when any of us need American money, they give it. As far as possible, open markets. When it's not possible, screw open markets. And that was what we used to call American exceptionalism. Nobody ever called this or that American exceptionalism. So American exceptionalism to these clowns is defined by how much we do for other countries at our own expense. And how about this question? You think Donald Trump's the biggest threat to the world? This guy agrees with the premise. What's Trump interested in? Freedom, liberty, making America great again as the leader of the free world, not the stabilizer. The stabilizer? Trump is the engine. America's the engine, not the stabilizer. But that's what worldwide establishment thinking is. 